so this is nifty analysis positionally we are saying that it is going towards 16000 and more dip can be coming towards 15500 so this is 1.3 extension that can also come so uh, here you can see that uh, we are in a triple zigzag correction so uh, complete complete positional video analysis you can watch here uh, in the link that is coming so yeah so this is how we are expecting it to move and today it has given the confirmation that it has broken 16931 which was swing low and this is a double zig, uh, double complex correction wxy okay so today it has broken 16931 so swing low, swing low once it breaks the trend changes so this is a swing low right so after w move this is x right on the lower end of the channel it has been broken so we can assume that we are uh, have, we are in a wave and a wave is yet to complete we will see a 15 minute chart and i will give you uh, the confirmation how uh, the a wave is still in progress so uh, long story long story short 16931 has been broken today and we are in a z wave now uh, the final wave so here you see a uh, three di like two divergences third is about to be made so third divergence will happen tomorrow most likely it will touch the line and jump off okay another as a for wave b so wave b consolidation it will jump in wave c it will break and then it will start up move uh, msd will also come about zero and yeah we have to break swing low of b to get confirmation for up move so this is how i'm expecting up move on the next nifty uh, based on this analysis okay this analysis can go wrong so yeah that's a disclaimer so you should be aware that everything doesn't work the way you see it but yeah this is most probably a uh, case where we are analyzing properly until now so final z wave is there so here we are expecting minimum target of 16000 to 15500 so next chart when you see here uh, okay next chart when you see here on my screen this is a 15 minute chart of a wave so this is zoom chart of a wave where you see that wave 1 2 3 fourth is completed fifth wave is pending and it's still in progress so tomorrow it should complete just below this particular point 17 16782 which is previous swing low okay so ye swing low hai ek, next swing low hai you can see this is the next swing low 16782 uh, below which a wave should end that is ideal case it can end here as well there's no doubt but i'm expecting it to uh, drop tomorrow so consolidation and drop can happen or direct gap down can also happen so gap down will give a further confirmation so if gap down happens first 20 30 uh, first 30 minutes you could see a downside movement and then it can start the consolidation but if the flat opening happens then a small consolidation will happen in small range of maybe 100 points so it has closed below 16900 right maybe it can just jump to 17000 and the 17000 has become a resistance today and then it should start the dip breaking this particular low so tomorrow these are the two possibilities the trend is still bearish and i am expecting this to be broken tomorrow and wave a should complete tomorrow by first half uh, so by 12 pm the first uh, first half the nifty should be breaking uh, below this particular point in any case so uh, yeah that's that's what we can see on five minute we cannot go and check and uh, give you the uh, proper analysis because on five minutes you will see different wave structures and all so that's not convincing so this count looks very much correct looking at the bank nifty chart so bank nifty uh, here has made at the opening itself has made the wave four and yeah if you see uh, we will create another video later on the bank nifty where you will see that the bank nifty is giving clear counts and nifty is in wave a so uh, why we are expecting this to be broken because uh, this is the previous case okay so here you could see that it has given the consolidation this is a triple zigzag okay by the way uh, so, sorry triple three correction okay triple uh, three complex correction you can call it and the correction that you see here is a double complex correction okay so just remember that each time it doesn't happen same way so you should not expect when once triple three happens it uh, next time it will be uh, it will be double three or uh, simple zigzag or something like that so same thing doesn't happen that is one of the way market moves right so here you can see that this particular move was fiercely broken last time and this particular low was also broken so i'm not expecting this much of big fall in a, in a current uh, a wave but yeah at least this low should be broken so we we are keeping conservative target for tomorrow on the downside 
so yeah this is how we do the analysis of nifty for tomorrow so uh, let me let me open the option chain data on concept and show you how it is going on so concept and option data we want to see so yesterday also in our analysis you can clearly see that we had said that we are going downwards nifty yesterday's analysis clear view was given that we are going downside and there was was uh, which was con also considered but that didn't happen the, the second possibility of breaking the channel and going downside it did happen and we broken below uh, 17,000 today yeah so uh, similar way uh, yesterday also we mentioned in the option chain analysis that this was a resistance 17,200 and uh, 17,000 was a support okay so as said yesterday here you could clearly see that there is a huge call writing on this on the all the strikes okay it's in 30 lakhs all figures are above 30 lakhs okay and here you see uh, puts are getting short covered so these many put writers have exited their position so the trend was clearly bearish and after opening nifty was quite easily sustaining below, below 17200 that made this number higher so as said yesterday 17200 is now the resistance and also a smaller you could see heavy writing here as well on 17000 strike so tomorrow it should shift the range to downside so 16000 uh, what is that support now this is also a secondary support so yeah this will become resistance so tomorrow at least it should go towards uh, 17 uh, 16700 and 16900 this range should become uh, like this range should be becoming uh, resistances okay 16900 so 17000 at morning opening itself i am quite sure that they will make this as a, uh, a resistance either a flat opening will be there or a gap down opening gap down opening will give us confirmation so i am expecting this expiry to be happening somewhere below 17000 and 16700 so this should be the range that is going to be formed tomorrow uh, or or in the next two to three days we might even go lower but yeah there is a one consolidation round pending after a wave a consolidation round will happen of one one or two days and then a dip will come so yeah this is how the option data is looking like uh, it's clearly bearish so yeah there's nothing to be checked on the daily charts and all because we have clear bearish signals so tomorrow watch for the first half where we will be uh, completing the wave a and then starting the consolidation so next uh, two to one to two days we will be in a consolidation so we should not trade the b wave and wait for the right opportunity and clear signals for uh, going for c wave so yeah hope you like the analysis if you have any doubts ask in the comments thank you have a great day Bye bye